Chutney is a sauce or a dry base for a sauce, originating from the Indian subcontinent, used with the cuisines of the Indian subcontinent, that can include such forms as a spicy coconut dip, a tomato relish, a ground peanut garnish or a dahi yogurt, cucumber, and mint dip. An offshoot that took root in Anglo-Indian cuisine is usually a tart fruit such as sharp apples, rhubarb or damson pickle made milder by an equal weight of sugar usually demerara or brown sugar to replace jaggery in some Indian sweet chutneys. Vinegar was added to the recipe for English-style chutney that traditionally aims to give a long shelf life so that autumn fruit can be preserved for use throughout the year as are jams, jellies and pickles or else to be sold as a commercial product. Indian pickles use mustard oil as a pickling agent, but Anglo-Indian style chutney uses malt or cider vinegar which produces a milder product that in Western cuisine is often eaten with a hard cheese or with cold meats and fowl, typically in cold pub lunches. Nowadays, the making of some pickles and chutneys in India has been passed over to commercial production, whereas at one time it was done entirely in people's homes. The disadvantage of commercial chutneys and those produced in Western style with vinegar and large amounts of sugar is that the main aim of sugar and vinegar as preservatives is to make the product safe for long-term consumption. Regular consumption of these products as distinct from the original Indian array of fresh relishes can add to total sugar consumption being increased to unhealthy levels. Etymology <inaudible> 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 The word, ''chutney'' is derived from the Hindi word katani chutney, meaning to lick. In India, ''chutney'' refers to fresh and pickled preparations indiscriminately. Several Indian languages use the word for fresh preparations only. A different word achar Hindi, akara applies to pickles that often contain oil and are rarely sweet. Overview In India, chutneys can be either made alongside pickles that are matured in the sun for up to two weeks and kept up to a year or, more commonly, are freshly made from fresh ingredients that can be kept a couple of days or a week in the refrigerator. In Tamil Nadu, thogale or thavail are preparations similar to chutney but with a pasty consistency. In Andhra Pradesh it is also called roti pachadi. In Telangana the same are called taku. Medicinal plants that are believed to have a beneficial effect are sometimes made into chutneys, for example Parandai thavail or ridged gourd chutney or birakaya taku. Ridged gourd can be bought in Chinese and Indian shops in large towns in the West. And, when dried, becomes a bath sponge known as a luffa or lufa. Bitter gourd can also serve as a base for a chutney which is like a relish or, alternatively as a dried powder. Occasionally, chutneys that contrast in taste and color can be served together—a favorite combination being a green mint and chili chutney with a contrasting sweet brown tamarind and date chutney. Chutneys may be ground with a mortar and pestle or an amical tamil. Spices are added and ground, usually in a particular order, the wet paste thus made is sautéed in vegetable oil, usually gingoli sesame or peanut oil. Electric blenders or food processors can be used as labor-saving alternatives to stone grinding. American and European-style chutneys are usually fruit, vinegar, and sugar cooked down to a reduction, with added flavorings. These may include sugar, salt, garlic, tamarind, onion or ginger. Western-style chutneys originated from Anglo-Indians at the time of the British Raj recreated Indian chutneys using English orchard fruits—sour cooking apples and rhubarb, for example. They would often contain dried fruit, raisins, currants and sultanas. They were a way to use a glut of fall fruit and preserving techniques were similar to sweet fruit preserves using approximately an equal weight of fruit and sugar, the vinegar and sugar acting as preservatives. South Indian chutney powders are made from roasted dried lentils to be sprinkled on idlis and doses. Peanut chutneys can be made wet or as a dry powder. Spices commonly used in chutneys include fenugreek, coriander, cumin, and asafoetida. Other prominent ingredients and combinations include cilantro, capsicum, mint. Coriander and mint chutneys are often called harahara chutney, Hindi for green, tamarind, or imli, often called methi chutney, as matai methi in Hindi means. Sweet, 
Sooth or santh, made with dates and ginger, coconut, onion, prune, tomato, red chili, green chili, mango, lime made from whole, unripe limes, garlic, coconut, peanut, dahi, green tomato, dania pudina cilantro and mint, peanut shangdana chutney in Marathi, ginger, dahi yogurt, red chili powder, tomato onion chutney, cilantro, and mint coconut chutney and apricot, major gray's chutney is a type of sweet and spicy chutney popular in the United States. The recipe was reportedly created by a 19th-century British Army officer of the same name likely apocryphal who presumably lived in colonial India. Its characteristic ingredients are mango, raisins, vinegar, lime juice, onion, tamarind extract, sweetening and spices. Several companies produce a major Gray's chutney, in India, the UK and the US. History. Similar in preparation and usage to a pickle, simple spiced chutneys can be dated to 500 BC. Originating in India, this method of preserving food was subsequently adopted by the Romans and later British empires, who then started exporting this to the colonies, Australia and North America. As greater imports of foreign and varied foods increased into Northern Europe, chutney fell out of favour. This combined with a greater ability to refrigerate fresh foods and an increasing amount of glasshouses meant chutney and pickle were relegated to military and colonial use. Chutney reappeared in India around the 1780s as a popular appetizer. Diego Álvarez Chanca brought back chili peppers from the Americas to Spain in 1493. He had sailed with Columbus. After discovering their medicinal properties, Chanca developed a chutney to administer them. In the early 17th century, British colonisation of the Indian subcontinent relied on preserved foodstuffs such as lime pickles, chutneys, and marmalades. Marmalades proved unpopular due to their sweetness. They were also rare due to a lack of available sugar. Beginning in the 17th century, fruit chutneys were shipped to European countries such as England and France as luxury goods. These imitations were called mangoed. Fruits or vegetables, the word chutney still being associated with the lower working classes. Major Gray's chutney is thought to have been developed by a British officer who had travelled to India. The formula was eventually sold to Cross and Blackwell, a major British food manufacturer, probably in the early 1800s. In the 19th century, types of chutney like Major Gray's or Bengal Club created for Western tastes were shipped to Europe from Manya. Generally these chutneys are fruit, vinegar, and sugar cooked down to a reduction. The tradition of chutney making spread through the English-speaking world, especially in the Caribbean and American South, where chutney is a popular condiment for ham, pork, and fish. <laughs> By regions of India <laughs> See also